Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za. The narrative is a narrative that I didn't know and knew nothing of and I was completely astonished and moved to hear the narrative. I'd seen the three pictures on the, on the, on the invitation and I kind of knew I had to see them. I have obsessively over the years kind of looked for portraits that kind of stand out like as they are so extraordinary. It's always a tricky thing, especially as a young black artist to sort of look at what the history was and how sort of like our history is and sort of really think that we can remove ourselves from it because of time. Through this project, there's something about nurturing the pain, really, and finding a vessel through sound and voice. I want to congratulate the people that organized this function. It is really something that we can be very proud of, the history of concern about humanity. It is really what we believe in. On the one side, this is an extraordinary exhibition, which is not only an historical photography presentation, but it is created with the artistry of the musicians who have looked at historical moment and historical event and have recreated, reimagined it into the future. The idea of dislocation, it's something that we played along, around with a lot in terms of our soundscape and especially if you listen to God Save the Queen, there's something about that foreignness and that feeling of sort of like di being dismembered not only from your own community but from your own self. So there was something about like really pulling all these pieces together and finding a way to assemble ourselves in a way that we can be proud of and something that feels like it's our own. I've been working with Philip Miller uh, for a while now, about 15 years. Uh, and this particular project has been a very special one for me because of the real nature of the room. It really encompasses the true nature of the piece and allows you to be immersed fully in the audio as well as be surrounded by the beautiful pictures and portraits that have been taken. They're extraordinary portraits, but the people in them are like so alive in that space. And Philip, I have long been his biggest fan. And to Tuka, I'm a new fan. And that music in there is quite something. I'm going to come back and revisit. So what happened with this project, especially if you start listening to the story and sort of everybody that was involved, is that essentially we all share the same narrative in that they were all quiet people. And the, the richness of sort of choralism in this country attached us all. So as much as we've had decades apart, there was something that sort of really drew us together. And if we can do that in the Apartheid Museum on an ongoing basis, we are relevant. We are relevant to ourselves, we are relevant to uh, the future, we are relevant to our country in being able to keep the spotlight on who we are and we can transcend the apartheid narrative, but never to forget it, but build upon it 
in showing what we did tonight. For more stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social mediums.